Mic test, mic test, one, two, three. I finally found you, you piece of shit. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to another episode of I Finally Found the Thing that connects to my iPhone so that my microphone works. So hopefully you can hear all of my super gay audio. Okay, so today we have a really special unboxing because we have one of the glow up girls, Kenzie. The artwork is adorable. I told myself I wasn't really gonna get any, but there's three girls I like, and it is Kenzie, Sadie, and Rose are the three girls from this line I like the most. So I thought it'd be fun to open these up, see what they're all about, and go from there. Miss Kenzie, she comes with a face mask for us. We can open her to reveal surprises. There are 25 fashion surprises, and she is spa ready, and then it gets her into her glow up, which is this beautiful artwork that they have on the front. I absolutely love this, but I can tell from the back of the packaging that the doll's hair doesn't look like the art's hair which is unfortunate, but we'll play around with it and see if we can get it to look good. Um, yeah, glow up girl, show your glow. Hey there, I'm Kenzie. So I think I'll bring you guys in for a closer look at the packaging. We'll give you all of that and then we'll go from there. Okay, so here is Kenzie's packaging up close. She comes with these cute little leopard print pajamas, a butterfly, all this stuff, an eye mask. Then there is her gorgeous artwork, as she is just so fucking pretty right here. And then we have some of her surprises, which we can open up. They're held together with Velcro. You can see a face mask, um, some bath bomb, her makeup, the look, so her clothing, the glam, and her shoes. And then all of the instructions are over here on the side. And then on the side of the packaging, there are six gals to glow up. So we have Kenzie, Tiffany, Alex, Aaron, Rose, and Sadie. And then the back of the packaging, my outfit is going to be oh so glam, Kenzie, which I doubt she, that's a weird way for her to talk. Let's roll spa day. Just shows them like getting all ready, unpackaged in their little jammies. And then it kind of restates all the stuff that's inside. Six to collect. And then sleep all night, glow all day. With a little hashtag glowtivation, these fab and fierce friends will take on the world from Far Out Toys. But yeah, that's Sadie in the packaging, but let's get her out of the packaging. So we can take out all of her little surprises and they are in a little plastic tray and everything. So that makes her, she was actually really easy to unbox. And then Kenzie, the doll herself, comes with a little like foot bath. And then she is in some plastic casing as well. Kenzie is out of the packaging and I figured while she's in her uh, pajamas, we could go over her articulation real quick. She can move her head up and down, side to side, and pivot. She is articulated in the shoulders, the elbows, and the wrists. Her hands are removable for easy dressability. Good to know. I was a little nervous there for a second. She can move her legs forwards, backwards, out and in. She can spread her legs about that far. She is articulated in the ankle fully. It can pivot and everything. And then uh, there is no articulation in the knee and it's not a bend and snap knee or anything like that. There is no waist or chest articulation. Her ears are pierced. She is fully rooted in the hair and she has very cute painted on eyes that are slightly pixelated, but not as bad as Barbie. It's very, you have to get like really, really close to see the pixelation on the eyes. She came with this little foot bath, her surprises, this thing, which um, fills like accessories. Um, everything is held down together with tape. So be very careful when you're trying to take it out of the packaging. You don't want to rip out anything because a lot of this is just like paperboard and other paper and you want to keep like 
the little shopping bags and the shoe box and stuff like that. And then she also comes with instructions. So we are gonna go from there after I give you guys a more close up look at everything I pulled out of the packaging. Okay, so here is Kenzie out of the packaging. Yeah, see, you can't even pick up that pixelation on camera. So I wouldn't even worry about it. She looks fantastic. Oops, out of focus. There we go. So yeah, wouldn't even worry about it. Um, her pixelation is cute. Her little jammies are cute. The shirt is held together with Velcro. They are two pieces. And then the shorts are held together with elastic. Then she comes with this cute little foot bath that has some fun floral rubber stamps on the bottom that are just embedded in. This green plastic casing over the top. And then all of her little accessories that we will go through, but yeah, you can see it was held down with tape, so it just stuck to my finger. And just all of her cute little accessories. This, which I'm excited to open because it's not mentioned in the packaging, but it was taped off to the side. But let's start doing all of the little things that we're asked to do. So for step one, we need to make a face mask for you and your glow up girl. So you will fill the foot spa with water about halfway, drop the tablet into the water from your little face mask. You will drop that tablet into the water in here and let the masks fully expand and then separate the doll and the child's face mask. Oops. <laughs> well, I don't have a child's face. I got this thing going on so we'll see and then apply the masks for five minutes then discard okay so I will be back with water in this little tub so I filled up the foot bath about halfway if this were a my froggy stuff video she would definitely be telling you to uh, protect your surfaces but this is an old shitty desk I stole from a frat house so I will bring you guys in for a closer look at the step we are doing so in the little foot bath, we are supposed to take the tablet that is inside of this Shine Bright Face Mask Adult Supervision situation and drop mask into H2O and watch it expand. And so the tablet just looks like a little weird Alka-Seltzer battery and we will plop it in. And you can see it's already loosening up. So we'll give it about five minutes is what it said. I made myself some coffee while I was waiting for the masks. Now, we will take them out. Yeah, this is probably why you need a, protect a protective surface, kids. These things are wet. Ew, let me figure this out. Awesome, so that is <laughs> horrifying, holy shit. That is so creepy. Okay, so um, there is Kenzie's mask, there is my mask, and I will go put those on. Is this not? everything you ever wanted. Is this not why you subscribe to my channel? <laughs> this is very haunting. So um, I will be back after we get ourselves a fun little facial. So I took off Kenzie's mask and there is some pigment on it. And as you can see, there's like some discoloration and everything. So I'm not like 100% sure what I was doing there, um, but we have returned from the spa. Yeah, that's really interesting. So there's definitely like a layer of something coming off. But we have returned to the spa, and now we're doing step two to reveal our makeup brush inside of our bath bomb. So fill a large container with water, place bath bomb in it, let it dissolve until the makeup brush is visible, strain water before removing the brush, rinse the bath bomb residue off of the makeup brush, and then use it from there. So the makeup brush is inside of our cute little bath bomb that is sealed, and it's got a crescent moon, an electric bolt, a heart, and a star. So let's go ahead and get this open. Perfect, so the bath bomb was really easy to open and we'll just drop it in the water. And it's kind of doing its thing. Yeah, there we go. It's fizzing up, it's releasing some pink. But we'll go ahead and speed this up. Okay, and it looks like her little makeup brush is revealed. So we have to take it out and then get some of the residue off and then we will wipe her face to reveal her makeup. Okay, so here is Kenzie. Here's her makeup brush and let's see what happens. Oh, 
Okay, so the brush is definitely picking up some of the pigment off of her face. I'm assuming there's a layer of something that's supposed to hide the makeup. So while this is like a cute little gimmick, I am gonna go take a towel right now and just kind of wipe her face really well. Perfect, so as you can see, there's still like some pigment on the paper towel I used to like get the rest off but all of her face is revealed. There's all of her makeup and everything, just super cute. And that took forever. So on to step four, which is putting the hands in cold water to reveal nail polish. So I have some cold water right here and we're just gonna dip Kenzie's feet in and see what happens. Oh yeah, and they instantly went green. So she has little green nail polish on her toes and then we'll check her hands. Perfect, and yeah, she has little green nail polish on her hands. So from here on out, it's just a regular unboxing experience. Although I will admit that my skin feels so much softer after using that cheap ass paper mask. This whole gimmick is cute and there's a lot involved for like only $20. So, so far I'm loving everything that we're doing, but let's go ahead and start unpackaging some of her other smaller things and go from there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is undo Kenzie's little bag. And it just opens up here at the top and what fell out was a tiny little plastic lipstick. So that's really cute. Then I think we should open up our secret message thing in the tissue. How cute! And so it is just Kenzie's little accessories. So she comes with a green handbag that um, opens up and has space to put stuff in, like her little makeup brush or something, although it would make more sense to put in her makeup bag that says Kenzie. And then it comes with a belt that has little painted on metallic details and loops and everything that's adorable. Next, we will open up this bag that says glow on ahead, there's no stopping you. Gl you glow girl. And it's just a cute little like paperboard crafty thing. Um, so yeah, definitely wanna keep that. That's a really cute little accessory. And in here we have her giant furry hooker coat that I'm absolutely in love with. It's so cute and it says trans pride with all those fun colors. Oh, and then her little outfit underneath it actually is a one piece outfit that is shorts and a tank top and it is held together with Velcro. And it just has some pink, white, orange, blue stripes going down. It is pink on the top and blue on the bottom. Okay, so that's cute. Even though it's kind of a one piece and I know if this were Barbie, we'd be talking a ton of shit but where this is like a new line, a ton of accessories, $20, all this stuff, I'm gonna let it, you know, slide, cause it's cute. And it's like really heavy and hefty and just feels really fantastic. Next up we have Glitter and Gleam. Are you ready to glow inside and out? Oh, and they're just more accessories. So we have our big old metallic heart-shaped earrings that we saw in the artwork and then a metallic bracelet that is pretty flexible and can, oh no, wait, <clears throat> I'm dumb. This is a necklace and it just fits around her neck like that. And then we have this final box, a sparkle of style. Glitz, size two and a half. If the shoe fits, rock it. And the tissue paper is cute and it just says glow up girls and we finally get a look at those giant ass hooker boots and I'm loving these. These are so freaking adorable. So yeah, I think it is time to get Kenzie dressed in her new outfit. Okay guys, and here is Kenzie in her full outfit. So these girls are only $19.99, so they do not come with a stand. She can kind of balance a little bit. You could probably finagle it even though she is in heels. Her outfit is super cute for the price point. Uh, the coat isn't lined or anything, but there are little details. Her giant hooker boots don't, they're kind of loose on top so I could see them falling down a lot, but they're still super cute. And the belt is barely hanging on, but it is on. 
So as far as that goes, those are probably all the negatives, the whole unboxing experience, the spa day, stuff like that. That was really fun. She's a cute doll. She's She feels really hefty and weighted. She doesn't feel like crazy hollow or anything. Her ringlets are fine. I would like to brush them out a little bit though. Oh, and the way her ears are pierced, they don't go into the head. They go back behind the ear, so they stick out. So instead of like shoving it straight into the head, it actually goes out through the back of the ear, which I found very interesting. And yeah, guys, that is Kenzie from the Glow Up Girls. I also have Sadie from the Glow Up Girls coming uh, from Target.com. That is where I purchased all of these. And I still haven't seen Rose yet. But yeah, go ahead and let me know what you think of her. Let me know if you have some of these girls, if you like the whole unboxing thing. It was kind of fun. Um, for 20 bucks, you know, that's only $5 more than a color reveal. And we're getting a whole shit ton more here. So yeah, thank you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video where I grow up in a post-apocalyptic society. And I'm really good at archery and I'm trying to save our country, but the whole time I'm thinking about two boys' feelings. Girl, you are so freaking cute. I love everything that is going on here. Um, and I need to borrow those boots sometime.